Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our maths class. Today, we are going to talk about fractions of a number. For our starter activity, equal sharing. So look at the picture. There are 15 teddy bears. How can we find one fifth? So one fifth of 15. Pause the video and do the activity. Time is up. So how are we going to get the one-fifth of 15? So from here, we are going to divide, okay, 15 into 5. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we have divided the teddy bears equally to each mat. Let's count inside the mats. One, two, three. So there are three teddy bears in each mat. So the answer is three. Okay, so there are three teddy bears. So therefore, one-fifth of 15 is three. Did you get the correct answer? Good job. If not, stay tuned for this topic. Learning objective is to Calculate the unit fraction of a quantity. I can identify the calculation needed. I can write the division calculation. I can divide the number by the denominator. And I can solve fraction problems involving unit fraction of quantities. Now, here is a fraction quantities. If you just observe, we have two parts of a fraction. The top part is called the numerator and the bottom part is called the denominator. If the fraction has one as the numerator, that is called unit fraction. So one half is a unit fraction and also all the fractions below that has one as the numerator. Fractions of quantities. What is one fifth of 20? Okay, so again, we are going to divide 20 equally to 5 groups. Okay, after dividing them, we get 4 as the answer. You may also do your times table. So if you're looking for 1 fifth of 20, look at your denominator, which is 5. Okay, from that, you may skip counts in times 5 times table. So 5, 10, 15, 20. So you got 4 as your answer, the same as when you do the division. Did you get that? Let's try another one. 1 6 of 18. Okay, you can do 18 divided by 6. Or distribute 18 to 6 equal parts. So you will get 3. But the fastest you can do is to count in 6 times table until you reach 18. 6 12, 18. So the answer is 3. The same as when you divide. Now, I'm going to leave you this activity, pause the video, and answer the activity. Time is up. Now here's the correct answer. 1 fourth of 8 is equal to 8 divided by 4. 1 fifth of 10, or... 10 divided by 5. 1 tenth of 100 is equal to 100 divided by 10. 1 sixth of 24 or 24 divided by 6. And 1 eighth of 24 is equal to 24 divided by 8. This time, we are going to look for the answers. Find the unit fraction of the quantities. 1 fourth of 12, 1 third of 15, and 1 6 of 24. Pause the video and do the activity. Now time is up. 1 4 to 12. Again, you can do 12 divided by 4 or you can skip counts by 4. So the answer is 3. Four, 12 divided by 4 is 3. When you count by 4, 4, 8, 12. So we get also 3 as the answer. 1 third of 15. 15 divided by 3. Okay. 
is equal to 5. Also, you may skip counts by 3, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Now we get 5 as the answers. And 1 6 of 24. 1 6 of 24 or 24 divided by 6 is equal to 4. You may do skip counts again by 6, 6, 12, 18, 24. So we have 4 as the answer. Very simple. Now, match the fraction calculation to its answer. Pause the video and do the activity. Time is up. Now let's reveal the answers. So 1 6 of 12 or 12 divided by 6 is 2 or 6 12 as times table. 1 3rd of 18 is 6 or 18 divided by 3 and 1 4th of 20 is 5 or 20 divided by 4 is 5. Now for the final activity, which is our plenary, I'd like you to look at the popsicle stick. Okay, the I slowly here has the fractions. I want you to find the, quant the fraction of each quantity. Time starts now. Okay, time is up. Now let's reveal the answers. Okay, for the slowly on the pink, okay, we got one six of, okay, so the pink is 8. Okay, so we can copy that from there. The yellow, which is 4. And the purple, which is 3. Okay, so 1 half of 16 is 8, which is in pink. 1 fourth of 16 okay is four which is yellow and one seventh of 21 is three which is in purple okay i will leave you with this activity now i hope you have enjoyed and learned new things today till next time always remember be the best you can bye